welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be showing you how i achieved this faux lock look and i guess this is like the bohemian style in my hair right now uh i have the cuban twist hair in t27 and then i also have the number 27 ends these are like a honey blonde human hair ends in my hair y'all this style is so cute and interrupting my video i can tell you this is like the perfect beginner style because if you're just learning how to do your own hair and you want to try out different styles i highly recommend trying this style out because it can be messy so it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be perfect because the point of it is to be messy if you're worried about messing up or whatever it's totally okay because that's the whole point of the hairstyle is to be messy and it's not supposed to be perfect it's supposed to kind of look like dreadlocks and yeah i hope i can help someone let's get right into the video so first we're going to start out with what we need to accomplish this hairstyle here i'm showing you the cuban twist marley hair in the color t27 package that i received off amazon came with six packs of this hair and i only used four of them just so you know here i'm showing you the spring twist hair in the color 1b and 27 the package from amazon comes with three packs of this 12 inch spring twist hair however i only used one to achieve the hairstyle i like to use human hair ends for my curly ends and my leave out pieces so i got this in the color 27 um, it comes with three um, bundles in the package, but I only used one bundle. You're going to need a couple of clips and rubber bands to help you with the parting and putting your hair up. You're also going to need two combs. I recommend using a rat tail comb to help with the parting. Um, that pointed end really helps get my part straight. And then I also use a pick to help detangle my natural hair and it reduces the amount of breakage. You're going to need some edge control. This is my favorite edge control right here. But if you don't like this edge control, at least get one with a thick consistency because it's going to help lay your hair down. It's very important that you have a lighter so you can burn and seal your ends. You also need a small mirror and a large mirror so you can see your parts in the back. Last but not least, we will need some scissors for cutting. So now we're going to be getting into the actual hairstyle. Here you see me parting off the section where I'm going to put the faux lock. You want to kind of take your time with this, especially in the front. Um, once you're in the back, it, it really doesn't matter if the parts are very straight, but just in the front, especially because that's what people are going to see the most. Just keep that clean and take your time when doing that. Once you have the hair sectioned off how you want it, just apply some edge control to that section to help lay it down and make everything neat. Right here you see me splitting that one section into three separate sections and applying edge control because that's going to help you when you want to start adding in that human hair. So you're actually going to cut the human hair off the weft of the track. When it comes in a bundle it'll come in a weft and you just cut it off the top. Then you want to start by braiding it in and how you do this I loop it around the entire section and then take the two ends and put it into one of the individual three sections that we broke off and then you just start to braid it in like you see me doing here. Once the human hair has been braided down to where you want it to come out of the lock, you go ahead and put it back and then clip it aside and then continue to start braiding down. Now that you braided your hair all the way down, you're going to take a piece of Marley hair like this and you're going to loop it around that braid that you just made. Once you have the Marley hair around your braid, you want to take one end and hold it against the braid and the other end and start twisting it down. The reason why I'm doing it this way is because you want the top of the block to be 
as small as possible if you were to add another piece on top right now it wouldn't be as small It'd be kind of bulky at the root and we don't want that the key here is to wrap do not twist the hair because that means you're gonna have a twist and not a lock so just keep wrapping here I am pinning back my um, human hair leave out piece because I don't want it to get twisted up in the lock so I'm just gonna put put that back with a clip and then continue to wrap down the hair so you're gonna see here that it starts to look thin but don't worry about that we're gonna fix that later right now we're just securing the base of the lock and make sure everything stays tight and neat Once you get to the point where you know that you've passed your real hair, you want to go ahead and burn the lock so that way it doesn't unravel. Now that I wrapped down to the desired length, I'm going to leave some hair at the end, cut off a little excess, but leave some hair at the end because I'm going to take this hair right here and braid in the human hair ends. I cut another piece of human hair off the weft of the track and now you see me just looping it the same way I did at the roots but now at the ends I'm going to loop it around the entire section and then take the hair and wrap it into one section and start to braid down. Now that I braided it down to where the human hair is secure, I'm gonna go ahead and take that excess Marley hair and start to wrap back up the lock to kind of lock it in and hide that braided end. Once you wrap the Marley hair back up, this is how it should look. Um, very neat. And here I'm just going to continue to wrap up until I get to the end. When you get to the end, you want to kind of rub it in your hands like this to kind of lock it all in. And then I just burn it to keep it from unraveling back down. You see this piece hanging out of the side of the leave out piece. We're going to just cut that off to make everything look neat. And then, yeah, so now that looks more natural after I cut it off. Now that the base is secure, we're going to go ahead and wrap some more Marley hair around the base. So that way we kind of fill in that part that looks thin. And this is just going to even everything out. Now that I'm at the end, I'm going to go ahead and burn it, secure everything, keep it from unraveling again. Now that I've added in that extra piece of Marley hair, you see everything looks even now and there's no more thin pieces in the lock. Once the lock is secure, we're going to add in some spring twist hair. This is going to give the lock a messy look, that messy boho look and yeah so just go ahead and split it apart this hair is really hard to split apart i just cut it you know once it gets knotted and then continue to split it apart because it gets matted really easily we're gonna follow the same wrapping method as the marley hair with the spring twist hair just go ahead and wrap it down from the root um just until you hit that leave out piece then you're gonna see me Put the leave out piece back with the clip and then continue to wrap down to the end of the hair.
I want to show you another method. This works especially well if your hair is shorter than mine, like an inch or so. You want to just, instead of braiding your real hair first and then attaching the Marley hair to that, we're going to braid in the Marley hair with your hair. This will be much easier for grip if um, your hair is shorter. So go ahead and braid it in. It's the same concept as adding the human hair. Leave out pieces to the root of your hair, same concept. Wrap it around the entire section and then um, kind of make it into three sections with your hair and then both ends of the Marley hair. We're gonna take a new piece of Marley hair um, make sure that it's not too thick because we want this to be small and neat at the root. We don't want it to be a real fat root. So just go ahead and take a small piece of Marley hair and start to wrap around. Remember, always on your head, wrap, not twist, wrap, not twist, and it'll help. Once that small piece of Marley hair runs out, go ahead and add another small piece and keep wrapping around um, until you get past the braid. And the thing with Marley hair, I mean with the locks, you can just keep adding in the Marley hair till you get um, the fullness that you want um, and make sure that no sections of the lock is thin. So just keep adding in the hair until you get to the ends and you're gonna see what I'm gonna do next. Now that I got the desired length that I want, I'm gonna go ahead and burn the ends to keep it from unraveling. Then I'm gonna split those ends into three so I can add in my human hair Once it's braided down to where the human hair is secure, we're gonna go ahead and take those leftover Marley hair pieces and wrap back up the hair. You see I'm kind of moving away that end of the human hair that we cut off the weft just because that's not going to help secure anything because it's so silky um, just go ahead and remove that you could even cut it off if you want and then continue to wrap the Marley hair back up the braid. Once you've wrapped it back up, go ahead and take your lighter, burn the ends to help secure it from unraveling, and then just rub it in the palm of your hands. Here's how it's looking after it's all done. You see that little piece uh, extra? Go ahead and cut that off to make everything look neat. I'm going to take some more spring twist hair, go ahead and split that apart and then wrap it around the lock to get that messy look again. Okay everybody, so this is the finished product. It came out super cute and messy. I promise you guys, if you try out this hairstyle, you will not regret it. It's a little bit time consuming, but since we're in this quarantine, just go ahead and try it out for yourself. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. See you in my next video. Bye.